Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a week or two ago, I let you know that Notepad is getting a so-called Windows 11-like context menu, which when I posted the previous video, was still being tested in the Insider program. And Microsoft said the reason for this change was to bring Notepad's menus more in line with the look and feel of Windows 11. Now, just to let you know that that change now has rolled out. So if we right click, we can see now that your main actions, your most commonly used actions like cut, copy, paste, select all and delete are very similar to what it looks like now over on the actual operating system of Windows 11. So if we head into File Explorer quickly, we can see those commonly used actions on Windows 11 at the top. Now Microsoft has applied that to the context menu in Notepad. Now this is what it previously looked like in the context menu before this update rolled out. So your undo, cut, copy, paste, delete and so on were in the main body of the context menu, giving it a little bit more length. And now you can see that it's a little bit shorter and we've got those most commonly used actions now at the top. And if we right click just to show you a couple of these actions, you can select all and obviously if you right click, you can click on delete. So those are now available. And this is Microsoft continuing to work on so-called evolving the original text editor. And Microsoft has been giving the Notepad app quite a lot of attention over the last year or so, as we have been talking about on the channel, and has rolled out a good couple of new so-called formatting tools and a whole lot of different features to Notepad. And like what I hate it, if we head into the settings, we can see a whole lot of those different features that Microsoft has added, like Copilot, Autocorrect, Spell Check, Recent Files, all of which I have posted on. And I've seen one or two comments and even some reports during the rounds online where, where users of Notepad in a lot of cases are not really enjoying all these new features rolling out to Notepad because Notepad's strength, I think, was its simplicity back in the day. And Microsoft, after removing and deprecating WordPad from Windows 11 24H2, now seems to be making Notepad into a so-called second WordPad where it's going from a text editor to a rich formatting tool like WordPad used to be. But um, nonetheless, just keeping you guys posted and in the loop. And there's also no way to turn off this new look and feel. So the new look and feel is by default. Um, there's no way to actually change that when it comes to settings you can change in Notepad itself. But just making you guys aware that has now rolled out as part of the stable version. So if you want the feature, just double check Notepad is fully up to date from the Microsoft Store. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.